Some of the best card tricks are those that take place in the hands of the spectators themselves, especially where they select and deal a random set of cards. I'm now gonna show you a super simple self-working effect which will see the spectators somehow manage to deal the kings and the aces every single time from a totally random selection. Stay tuned for the secret and of course, the usual inspiring message. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to Coach Trick where magic meets inspiration and success. Today, we're delving into a card trick that's not only powerful, but also incredibly easy to perform. Imagine a spectator becoming the magician, effortlessly dealing out the kings and aces from a pack of cards that they randomly selected. This is a great trick for boosting confidence. Easy to perform, yet it's the kind of trick that would have everyone wondering, how did they do that? Remember, learning, practicing, and performing magic isn't just about the tricks themselves. It's about building essential skills. So stick around as we explore how the principles of magic can help you realize and achieve your wider life goals. Let's learn a trick and let's unlock the door to a world where magic and success go hand in hand. Get ready, grab a deck, and let's go. Okay, as ever, let's kickstart by showing you the effect itself. Now, if you're looking for a trick that packs a punch, it is super simple to perform. Maybe you want something to build your confidence, or you just want a trick that you can focus on without having to worry about any tricky moves, then this could be a great trick for you. And here's how it works. You're gonna give the deck to the spectator, and you want the spectator to cut out a random packet of cards from the middle of the deck. And to do that, you're going to ask them to cut the deck once, just like so, and then to cut that deck again a second time, just like so. It's important to emphasize that they really are random cuts. The spectator can cut the deck wherever they like, and that's what makes this so convincing. You're now going to take the packet of cards which the spectator has cut out of the deck, and you're gonna hand those to the spectator. You now want the spectator to take this random packet of cards and to deal it into four piles to the table, just like so. And you're gonna ask them to repeat that until they run out of cards. And when they do run out of cards, this is a great point just to re-emphasize what's happened. From the original deck, the spectator cut the deck wherever they liked. It was a totally free choice. Through doing so, they located a packet of cards, which they have now dealt to the table. And through that free choice and that dealing, imagine their surprise when you reveal that they've somehow managed to locate all four of the kings. Now, that's the first miracle but imagine their further surprise when you reveal not only have they somehow managed to find all of the four kings, when you reveal the cards here, they've also managed to find all four of the aces. So all four kings and all four aces from an ordinary deck which they made random cuts to. They'll be wondering how on earth they managed to achieve it. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Okay, so now for the secret to this effect. Like I said before, this is a great trick because there's no special moves involved. In fact, this is about as self-working as a trick can get. So you can focus entirely on the performance and you don't need to worry about anything going wrong or getting any special moves right. And here's how it works. It really is a case of simply starting with a very simple setup. You're going to take the four aces and the four aces go on top of the deck. And at the bottom of the deck, you just place the four kings face up. And that's how you start the trick. And that's what makes this work automatically. So four kings on the bottom of the deck face up. The four aces face down on the deck 
And with that simple setup, you're all good and ready for this miracle to happen. Now, what makes this such a great effect that from now on, most of the effect takes place in the hands of the spectator. The first thing that you're gonna ask them to do is just to cut the deck once and ask them to cut it about halfway, just so they get a good chunk of cards. Now, when they cut it, you want them to turn this pack over and you're gonna ask them to cut this pack again and to turn the pack they cut off over like so. So they've just revealed now a face up pack in the middle. And they really can make those cuts wherever they like and that's what makes this convincing. It's a totally free choice. And here's the clever move. You're now gonna take this pack here and place this on top. Take both of these packets and place those on top of this one here. You're now gonna turn the whole deck over and you're just gonna fan through the cards until you come to the first face down card. Take all of the face up cards and place those underneath like so. And then continue to fan through the face down cards until you get to the face up cards and then remove these so you're just left with the face down cards. Now this is a nice little move which makes it look as though you've just spread through the deck to find the pack that the spectator has cut out and located. But here's what you end up with. Although this now looks as though it's just the random packet of cards the spectator cut out of the deck, you now have your four kings at the bottom and you have your four aces at the top. So you can see the four aces there and the four kings at the bottom. And so now when you ask them to deal their cards into the four piles, because you've got the kings and the aces, you're guaranteed to end up with the result that you want. So all they do now is just deal the four piles. Obviously they've just dealt the aces and they'll continue now until they get to the end of the pack in their hands. And obviously the, the last cards they're dealing are going to be the kings. And so now it's really just about presentation. As you reveal all four of the top cards, they're guaranteed to be the kings. And as you turn over the decks here, it's guaranteed to be the aces. And of course you can show all the cards to be different. Like I say, this is a great trick. It's really simple, yet because of the random cuts that the spectator makes themselves to the deck, it really is mind boggling how they've somehow managed to end up with the kings and the aces. It boggles the mind and it's a great trick to perform if you're looking for something super simple and really effective. Take this one, practice it, perform it, but most of all, have fun. And there you have it, a fantastic card trick that will wow your audience. Remember, the power of this trick lies not just in the effect, but in the simplicity of its execution. As we wrap up, remember this, learning, practicing, and performing magic, it's a great hobby. It's also a journey that can impact various aspects of your life. The skills you develop, like patience, presentation and problem solving extend far beyond the realm of cards and tricks. So keep practicing, keep performing, and most importantly, apply the confidence you gain to your wider life goals. Magic is not just about tricks, it's about realizing your potential and achieving the impossible. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share the magic with your friends. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, keep moving forwards and take care.